Hello, I'm Maria Tennyson and I will be your anchor tonight. Tonight on the news we will be talking about the history, physical aspects, cultural and social problems of Nigeria. The rise of terrorism attacks in Nigeria over the past five years is definitely a call for concern. Nigeria is a federal republic with a presidential system. The constitution provides for separation of powers among the three branches of government. General elections held in February 1999 marked the end of the 15 year military rule and the beginning of a civilian rule based on a multi-party democracy. General elections were held for the second consecutive time in April 2003. In both elections, President Olgusen Abasanjo and his party, the People's Democratic Party or the PDP, were victorious. Despite the consolidation of democratic rule following years of military dictatorship, some feared in the absence of a clear successor, the incumbent president might seek to amend the constitution so that he could run for a third term in 2007. Obasan Ho was reputed to have a variety of motives for seeking a third term or at least leaving the issue open. Aspirations to see his economic and political reforms through to completion. Concerns about being impaired by the perception of lame duck status and a desire to block his his rival, President Atuku Abu Bakar, from assuming power. U.S. government officials expressed concerns about the potential destabilizing impact of such a move. In May 2006, however, the Nigerian Senate rejected the, a constitutional amendment that would have permitted a third term. It, April 21, 2007, a presidential election was held that was held that herald in Alahi Amaru Musa Yar Adua um, from the People's Democratic Party, or PDP. The Nigerian Civil War, better known as the Bifarin War, which lasted from July 6, 1967 to January 15, 1970, was a war fought to counter the succession of the Bafara from Nigeria. Bafara represented nationalist aspirations of the Igbo people whose leadership felt that they could no longer coexist with the northern dominated federal government. Nigeria's location in the tropics causes it to have a tropical hot climate. The temperatures in Nigeria vary depending on the seasons of the year. The seasons are determined by rainfall with rain season and dry season being the major seasons in Nigeria. Nigeria is currently experiencing adverse climate conditions with negative impacts on the welfare of millions of people. Persistent droughts and flooding, off-season rains and dry spells have sent growing seasons out of orbit on a country dependent on rain fed agriculture. <laughs> Alarm bells are ringing with lakes drying up and a reduction in river flow in the arid and semi-arid region. The result is fewer water supplies for use in agriculture, hydropower generation, and other users. The Nigerian climate produces an extensive rainy season across the country for half of the year called the rainy season. During the other half of the year, Nigeria experiences high temperatures and low humidity, and this is referred to as the dry season. The Harmattan winds, trade winds from the northeast, accompanied by a fine dust of sand from the Sahara, permeate, on, permeate the country during the dry season of December throughout February. Physically, Nigeria isn't the best shape due to terrorist group Boko Haram. Islamist militant group Boko Haram has caused $9 billion of damage in Nigeria's northeast since 2009, destroying homes, schools, bridges, and roads, according to the United Nations. Borno State alone suffered losses worth $6.2 billion. <clears throat> Matthew Rycroft, the president of the UN Security Council, told reporters Sunday on a visit to its main city of Maiduguri, <laughs> not only is Boko Haram destroying Nigeria's northeast, but they are also stealing oil. Last December, the, the Nigerian army raided and assumed control of Camp Zero, the fort of Boko Haram, terrorists in the heart of dreaded Bisa Forest, a 6,000 square kilometer swath of land in Nigeria's northeastern state of Borno. During that raid, it captured Bello Denhajiad, I'm so sorry, don't know how to pronounce these things, deputy to one of Boko Haram's fat 
factional leaders and retrieved the flag and Quran of Abu Bakr Shekau, the helmsman of the rival <laughs> faction, which it later presented to President Muhammadu Buhari. In addition, <laughs> Nigeria's Petroleum Resources Ministry also <laughs> announced in that month the discovery of crude oil in vast quantities in Borno State, the home of Boko Haram. A 30-year-old obsession of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC for short, the search for oil in the Lake Chad Basin began under President Muhammadu Buhari's time as Petroleum Minister <coughs> in the late 1970s and has gulped over $340 million dollars Boko Haram left more damage when they claimed a suicide bombing on a university campus in northwest or er, sorry northeast Nigeria. The blast happened at a mosque in the staff quarters area of the University of Maiduguri and is thought to have been carried out by a teenage girl, a local resident and a lecturer told AFP. And now to Jessica Cias for the culture of Nigeria. Thanks, Prita. English is the official language of Nigeria, used in all government interactions and in state-run schools. In a country with more than 250 individual tribal languages, English is the only language common to most people. Unofficially, the country's second language is Hausa. In northern Nigeria, many, <laughs> no, many people who are not ethnic Hausa speak both Hausa and their own tribal language. Hausa is the oldest known written language in Western Africa. In other cultural news, the slave trade has had major con social consequences for the Africans. Violence and intertribal warfare increased as, such, as the search for slaves intensified. The increased wealth accompanying the slave trade be began to change social structures in the area. Leadership, which has been based on tradition and ritual, soon became based on wealth and economic power. Boko Haram has heavily in involved themselves in the slave trade. They are most recognized for abducting nearly 300 Chibok school girls, yet in truth, the Chibok girls have not been abducted or kidnapped. Those words only blur their real fate. In reality, they have been enslaved. Boko Haram's fighters do not capture people. Their standard procedure whenever they raid a village is to kill men and treat women and children as booty of war, to be bargained over and sold for profit. The world raid is important for Boko Haram does not merely attack villages or take towns. Its fighters are engaged in the primitive business of slave, tra of slave raiding we might not like to think that we that the slave trade has reemerged across Africa, nor that villages are fa are prey are falling prey to martyrs who hunt down women and children. But that is the plain, the painful truth. And now to Anna for social issues. Thank you, Jesse. So, what are some major major social problems <laughs> examples for this country? Among the top social scourges of Nigeria is poverty, which becomes the cause of many other troubles in the society. A large portion of population lives below the poverty line. Since 2004, the number of people who have just $1.25 per day to spend has constant constantly grown. Presently, over 70% of the country's population live under the poverty line and this percentage has ra rapidly increased from almost 35% in 1992 to over 70% in 2010 and on. And rapid population growth is not the only cause of... Water, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> to 
this social issue. Some of Nigerian politicians and people in ruling offices in just one year make as much as other citizens would make in 65 years. Corrupted system and failure of justice leads to bribe stealing, manipulation, etc. etc. whatever. Poor people hardly have any civil rights, while the rich ones become only wealthier every year. Inequality. Nigeria is the giant of Africa. Its economy is the largest on the continent and the GDP continue to grow. However, those goods and natural resources are not spread equally among the population. Nigeria is called a rich country with poor people. In fact, the richest man in Africa comes from Nigeria. The problem is that the main part of, of the population of the country is engaged in agriculture. This sector is where the poverty rules. The main riches come from oil production, but only few people have access to the sex to this sector of the economy. So poor pe poor become even poorer and the rich gain more wealth. Another big issue in Nigeria is terrorism. Boko Haram has made Nigeria famous throughout the world. Uh, this Islamic organization fights against Western ways of life, education, medicine, and and other things. <laughs> Hundreds of people have been killed during the attacks of terrorism and millions got displaced from their home, villages, and towns. That greatly contributes, contributes to social problems in Nigeria. And that is how the news goes. <laughs>